I'm Frank. Training neural networks is notoriously tricky. Which optimizer should you use? Which learning rate? Using what schedule? These decisions are crucial, but our community still doesn't know which training methods are truly the best. That's why the AlgoPerf benchmark was created by the ML Commons Algorithms Working Group to measure speedups coming purely from the training algorithm, not by changing the model, the hardware, or using extra hyperparameter tuning. Our first AlgoPerf competition featuring community submissions reveals that novel or less used approaches like schedule free or shampoo significantly outperform even well-tuned baselines using traditional Atom, delivering average speedups of up to 30% across diverse deep learning workloads. Priya will dive deeper into our results shortly, but first let's cover the competition setup. AlgoPerf has two key principles. To isolate the effects of the training algorithms, we kept models, datasets, hardware, and software fixed for all submissions. And second, each submission must provide a complete training recipe, including hyperparameters or their search space, so that it can be applied and work well across multiple deep learning problems. To do so, submitters can only modify a few functions. They can change the optimizer, like SGD, Atom, or something new, its hyperparameters, and how data batches are formed. Submissions must then train these eight workloads covering popular deep learning domains like image and speech recognition or translation to a predefined performance target as fast as possible. To handle hyperparameter tuning, we use two different rule sets. The external tuning rule set allows per workload tuning with five di different hyperparameter trials, scoring only the fastest one. Crucially, the hyperparameter search space itself has to be the same across all workloads. In the self-tuning rule set, submitters only get a single run per workload, requiring either good default hyperparameters or automatic inner loop tuning. For the final score, we aggregate the per workload runtimes using performance profiles, comparing each submission to the fastest on each workload. This gives a, each submission a benchmark score from zero to one, where one means being the fastest submission across all workloads. Let's hand over to Priya for our results. Thanks, Frank. Let's look at the results, starting with the self-tuning rule set. The Schedule Free Adam W submission by the Fazer et al. was the clear winner, and in fact, the only submission to beat our Adam W baseline. Looking at the performance profile, Schedule Free in blue could train seven out of eight workloads within budget. Translating the benchmark score into a more intuitive metric, Schedule Free Adam W offers roughly 10% faster average training over our baseline, an impressive new state of the art for hyperparameter free neural network training. In the external tuning leaderboard, the distributed shampoo submission by Shi et al. achieved the highest score, proving non diagonal methods can beat popular methods like Adam even in wall clock time. A tunable version of Schedule Free placed second. While five submissions beat our baseline, no submission trained all workloads successfully within the time budget, highlighting the challenge of creating universal training algorithms. Still, Shampoo delivered an impressive 30% average speedup over our well-tuned Natum W baseline. Looking at per workload runtimes, we found that no single algorithm dominated across workloads. Here we see the workload runtimes of all external tuning submissions relative to the runtime budget. Lower numbers indicate faster training with the fastest submission per workload in bold. In fact, we see five different submissions were the fastest on at least one out of the eight workloads. Even the winner, Distributed Shampoo, had its weaker spots, for instance on WMT where it took more than twice as long as Schedule Free. To summarize, AlgoPerf shows significant training speedups are possible with better training algorithms. The winners achieved average speedups of roughly 30 and 10% over strong baselines. Interestingly, these methods like non-diagonal optimizers or schedule-free approaches are not yet mainstream. However, there is still a lot of room left for improvements, as no method was the best across all workloads. Our results also demonstrate that we need careful benchmarking and engineering efforts to identify these training methods. We invite you to try out the winners, and please submit more methods. We're happy to support you, and if we can, even provide the resources to score your submission on the AlgoPerf benchmark. Also consider joining our ML Commons working group to shape the benchmark's future. And finally, a big thank you to all our collaborators and submitters for helping make neural network training faster and more accessible.